Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Teen Talk in Ifemi Podcast. It's your humble host, Oluwan Ifemi, and I'm so happy to be here once again. How are you doing? I hope you're good, and I hope you're doing fine. On last week's episode, we talked about the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is our comforter, the third person in Trinity. So if you have not listened to that episode yet, I want you to go back and listen to it, and I assure you that you'll be blessed by that episode. How my week went. This week has been a lot. But I just thank God. Because if it has not been for His grace. I'm just grateful to God. I'm just grateful to God. That being said, let's get into the business of the day. Welcome back from that short break. So today, I'm going to be talking about Don't Be Overwhelmed. I'm not going to be talking much in this episode. This is going to be a form of encouragement, so it's going to be short and brief. To be overwhelmed means you are strongly overcome with your feelings. It's more or less like you have reached a breaking point. And people tend to feel this way. You tend to feel unmotivated, frustrated, tired, and just out of this world. At one point in your life, the journey is going to get tough, and then you just start questioning your existence. I want us to look at Matthew 11. 28 to 30 and i'm going to be reading in message translation and it says are you tired worn out burned out on religion come to me get away with me and you'll recover your life i will show you how to take a real rest walk with me and walk with me watch how i do it learn the unforced rhythms of grace i won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you Keep company with me and you learn to live freely and lightly. Now, when you feel this way, the best thing to do is to run to God. Don't dwell on it and let it out. Now, a few days ago when I was feeling overwhelmed, I was dwelling in the mood of being overwhelmed. And I knew the best solution for me was to run to God and talk to Him. And the moment I actually realized and actually took it to my maker, It took away the pain and it took away the burden from me. Now, the more you keep it in, the more it breaks you so much. Now, imagine when you are filling a bucket and the water gets filled up. Then the water starts pouring if you don't put off the tap. That's how the moment you keep on keeping that feeling in you and you don't let it out, there's a point you get to that you explode. Now, before you explode, go to your maker and talk to him. I was having a conversation with a friend yesterday and she was feeling overwhelmed and basically she just needed to let how she was feeling out and I was able to listen to her and she was able to totally pour out how she was feeling. Now, that's exactly how you should pour out how you are feeling to God. Let it out, talk to God and let your feelings out so that you feel free. And he said in his word that he won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. You know, there are some times that you talk to people about how you are feeling. And rather, rather for them to make you feel better, you make you feel worse. But God says he will not lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. But he will rather remove that pain and burden that you are feeling. And he will keep your comp and teach you how to live freely and lightly. Dear listener, if you are feeling overwhelmed right now, I want you to go down on your knees and communicate and talk to God about how you feel. And before you even go to communicate with him, he already knows how you are feeling. But he wants to build that deep communication and relationship between you and him. So always learn to express yourself. Be free around him. Be vulnerable around him. And like I just said, this episode won't be long. And I just want you to take really good care of yourself. Ask for peace from God and heal. And I want to say this short prayer for anyone feeling overwhelmed. I ask the Lord that his peace radiates in your life and his joy begins to be evident in your life. And for anyone who is feeling overwhelmed and is extending into depression, I ask that by God's mighty hand, he drags you up from that depressive state and restores you back. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. So dear listener, don't be overwhelmed. Take all your burdens to God. For he said, come unto me, all you who are heavy laden and I'll give you rest. He's ready to give you rest. He's ready to take away that feeling of being overwhelmed away. All you just have to do is go to him, run to him, 
and talk to him about every single thing you are feeling. Thank you for staying to the end of today's episode. I really hope you were able to gain one or two from this episode. God bless you.